Hi guys, we received a request from a customer last week that wanted to upgrade his Apollo Pro to an Apollo Ludo. Uh, so we thought it might be the perfect time to introduce a new series called Behind the Scene at Apollo Scooters. Uh, today we're gonna walk with you through the process of setting the Ludo. Uh, what is the difference between the old version and the new version? Because yes, there's a 2021 version of the Ludo that is much cooler than the old one. Uh, so yeah, let's jump right into it. This is a controller you can currently find inside our Apollo Ludo. It's the Soundcore 100D. Uh, it was built for electric skateboard. Uh, it's a great product, but there is much more improvement that needed to be done to bring it to the electric scooter market. One of the first improvement we did is changing the case that in that case is half aluminum and half plastic uh, to a case that is completely in aluminum to get a better heat transfer from the PCB to the outside shell to dissipate the heat. We also put it a built-in pan inside our new uh, controller to dissipate the heat even more. We are also able to set a temperature limit to be sure that we are within the range but with the new controller you'll never reach the maximum temperature another really interesting feature that we added to the controller is the converter uh, in the last controller we're getting a lot of complaint that um, you lost the light uh, when uh, you do the Ludo upgrade uh, the reason for that is that we needed to uh, add an external converter and uh, this generates heat and there's just not enough space to safely do it inside the Apollo Pro. Uh, with the new one, there's a 12 volt uh, converter built in, so no extra heat or extra space taking from this. And uh, we also have the possibility to upscale it to 24 volt to even be more powerful than the regular 12 volt that the scooter are working on. Another major improvement that needed to be done with those kind of controllers is the configuration method of it. Currently, it's extremely complicated to configure one of those best controller. You need to connect it to a laptop and to run the precise uh, sequence and spec of your scooter on the controller. A major uh, difference in your number and you can easily burn those controllers. One thing that we did is to develop a custom um, configuration tool for it. So now you just have to press a, a button sequence. So let's say you press a brake handle and press on the throttle while turning on the controllers. It's going to activate a special tool built in the controller and it's going to run the whole configuration method uh, of the motor. So the motor configuration and all the input from the region and the um, gas throttle because all of those are different configuration and each one of them uh, requires a special attention. So with the new controller you can just plug and play everything, you run the configuration tool and your scooter is going to be set up and ready to go much quicker. So that concludes our first episode of Behind the Scene at Apollo Scooters. Make sure to like and subscribe. Let us know in the comments what future episode of Behind the Scene at Apollo Scooters you'll like to see.